So we know that um, Republicans are relying on corporate America for the super PACs and everything else that helps get them elected. Um, obviously, corporate America is relying on these subsidies uh, to, to pad their bottom lines. Um, lost in the shuffle here um, are the way that the policy prescriptions that Republicans are pursuing make them look to the electorate. They're already having a problem appealing to women and independent voters. Um, do you think basically bemoaning the evils of, uh, you know, those unfortunate enough to have to rely on the government for food and sustenance uh, is a winning prescription for somebody who wants to be elected to office? Yeah, I mean, I, I, I'm not the right person to be, uh, to be telling the Republican Party what they should be doing, but you would think that uh, <laughs> there, there are some major political costs. Um, but, I mean, that's, that's sort of the, the calculation they've made is that, you know, uh, there are certain things you can touch and, and certain things you can't, and they've made a calculation that basically uh, screwing over poor people or something that they've, <laughs> they've, they've decided to... Um, well, it's certainly put on the scale, right? right? It's a, can we do this and still make out like bandits with the corporate, uh, the corporate interests who are funding our campaigns? Um, but at a certain level, I mean, the way this is being spun by the Republican leadership is kind of a welfare 2.0 type thing, uh, mm-hmm. which is something you yeah. cover in another story. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, this is, this is part of a, a longer-term project here. You, you know, people from the Heritage Foundation also had a, had a very prominent role in, in helping craft this bill with Eric Cantor's office. Um, and so this, is a, this has been a long-term goal, is to, to, to make it look something like the, the reforms in 1996 and under Bill Clinton, where the idea is you're going to be incentivizing people to work. Uh, and, and they're doing that by cutting. There's a lot of different cuts that are, that are part of this, uh, the food stamp cuts I can get into, but, but part of that comes from cutting um, the ability of states to have this waiver um, that allows basically people in high unemployment areas uh, to maintain uh, their benefits. And the idea is by cutting that waiver, you're going to force them to, to pick themselves up by their own bootstraps, incentivize exactly. them to get jobs, et cetera.